Okay, hi. Um, today we're going to finish up, in this video, we're going to finish up this illustration. And this illustration is all about Jack, uh, the bunny in my, um, in my book. Uh, but it doesn't really have to be about my book. Uh, none of this is about my book. It's about just drawing, <clears throat> really. And maybe doing it in a way that makes you feel empowered. Uh, to try drawing other things, but we're going to finish up this. Uh, we're going to finish up my idea of this, um, uh, and it, and like I said, it is about Jack. Now, Jack is a bunny rabbit that was brought up in a house, in a house, and this is his house, full of other rabbits. But he felt very isolated, very alone, and he ends up running away um, when uh, when people feel isolated and alone and um, possibly picked on and, and, and bullied uh, by family or by other people, there tends to be two responses, fight or flight. And in this is instance, um, in, my, in my idea, in my story, Jack has been fighting and he's done fighting, so it's time to fly, flee, it's time, uh, time to take flight and leave. Uh, so he goes and he f makes his own home where he has some peace. He does end up carrying all that anger from things that happened in, in his house with him. But we're not going to delve, uh, and, and he takes it out on other characters who try and work, work him out of it. They try and help him. They stand by him as friends, and they just try and help him and understand uh why he is so angry, and they try and deal with his character instead of uh, picking at him more. Excuse me, drinking my tea. Um, as usual. So, that's really what in in my book, in my ideas, that's a, that's what this is about. But we're gonna we're just gonna kind of finish it up. It can be any about anything you want. And you don't have to do all the bunnies, but we are going to draw some more. So let's get to work. Let's start off with... Let's start off with the standing bunny. And I hope I'm ang learning to angle the camera better so you can, so you can follow it. Uh, the standing bunny is just going to be a rectangle. We have a bunny right here. So we're going to keep it about this size. I'm not going to lower it. As you can see, I've just got another piece of scrap paper. So, because I don't like to waste anything. So, I'm just drawing a rectangle about the same size as the last bunny we made. Oops. That's not including his ears, obviously. This bunny is going to be turned away, so he's going to have a tail, which is just an oval. His head will be a little bowed. That's for his head. We'll have his shoulders. Just going to do a C for his so or a line for his soldiers. Sh shoulders. Just a curve for right now. We'll get into his back, which is just a line down like that. Looks like his head is a little large, so we're going to make it a little bit smaller. There's a hunch, or his, um, his kind of his bum. And then on the other side, maybe his other hunch, or bum and leg, are kind of sticking out. Just like that. His head is a little big. We'll correct it when we go to do uh, the pen work. We're just going to draw his ears, which are just two lines, two antennas sticking up right now. Okay, let's go ahead and draw his ears. And this is my thought. You can draw his ears any way you like. Okay, there's one ear. And here's the second ear lines. And like I said, we can decide that his head or his 
ears are too big, and we can correct them in a sec. I think I'm going to raise his shoulders a little bit. <clears throat> so he, it looks more like he's thinking. So I'm just kind of correcting that, and I'll show you. There. Okay. I want to draw another bunny. Let me cut this out. Did you let me see this? I can't find my yellow pencil, and I've misplaced my blue scissors. Probably moved them to another room for a bit. So I just cut that out, and I'm going to draw another bunny, but he's going to be sideways and laying on top of the hat. So I want him about the same size again. And I'm going to draw him. He's going to be stretched out. So we want kind of a long rectangle. And we're going to draw down like this. Okay. So it's a rectangle and then two added lines extending. We're going to draw his head, which is going to be sitting directly on the on the hat. So it's going to be kind of flat. I want to have a little paw up. And I think we're going to have a little paw drooping down just a bit. So there are the two paws, just two ovals. I'm going to come down a little bit with his tummy. I'm going to come down a little bit from that line in the rectangle. Then we're going to have his haunch or his leg. And actually this would be more of his knee because he's sitting forward. Just a curved line down. We're going to have bring that down to the other leg. Which will be there. And no, I don't like his foot like that. Now we can always change this. But I've got his foot coming down. Let's see. How do we want to handle this leg? Hmm. Maybe we'll just leave it a little bit. At, oh, I know what we're going to do. Forget the foot. Just forget the foot. We're going to do something else. So it doesn't get too complicated. There, we'll just draw his knee right there. Okay? We're not going to bother with the foot. We're going to do something else. Now we need rabbit ears. So again, just two antenna, two lines coming out. And then they're droopy. One curved line. And then feel free to draw this any way you want. I drew a line here, line here. Let's draw the second ear, which would... Oh, I drew it a little too straight. Never mind, we'll continue with it. It's going to be slightly droopy as well. So I drew a line coming down right there. Another line there. I think we're going to curve it a little bit. Boy, I'm not liking this pencil. It's very rough. There we go. Remember, we probably won't stick with those lines, so don't worry too much. Um, the inside of his ear. Following that antenna. Now we're just going to... We're going to have his head kind of turned a little bit. So we're gonna put one eye, we're gonna put an eye right there, kind of in the middle almost of that rectangle, his face. And then we're gonna draw his nose, which right now is just gonna be a line just below his eye, and then his mouth, which are just two U shapes. Okay, can you see? Two U shapes. 
We're going to make his mouth come out and away from that rectangle, just like that. Okay, just like that. All right, let's grab a pen. I'm going to cut some of the extra paper off so it's not dragging all over the place. Let's grab our pens, and again, I'm using Sharpie today. Remember that the Sharpie will bleed through and you will end up with dots like this. So put something down to protect the surface against the dots. Okay, I'm going to take on the ear first. Line, line. Kind of a curve at the top. And then another curve. And you don't have to do this. And even if you make boo-boos like I do all the time, it's okay. Second ear, curved line. Right there. A little curve at the top because they don't have sharp ears. And down and round. Okay. And then the center. Which is, whoops. Just a hook, a little hook at the end right there, and then a straight line. Let's take on his face, and I think I want the back of his head to be curved out just a tiny bit, instead of a flat, straight line. We'll take on the front of his face, which is kind of a line out. We, I didn't talk about this, but it's going to be a little bit of a line out. Coming down to his second eye, which will be a line down or where his eye should be. And then I drew his mouth kind of big. It looks goofy. So I'm going to pull it in just a tiny bit up to the two U shapes. I'm going to draw his nose and I'm going to pull that line in just a little bit too. Make it a little bit smaller. His eye, just a circle. Okay. And we're going to do his body. And it's not going to be too much, it's just lines. So a line straight down from his neck, uh, which would be the back of his neck to his shoulder. Again, an indication of his shoulder. His paw, which again, I drew way too big. So I'm going to pull it in just a little bit. It's just an egg shape. And the second one, just an egg shape with the fat round part at the bottom where his, his fingers or his paws would be, okay? Um, his body is just going to be, I think we're going to curve it down just a little bit like that. A little bit of a curve. Down to his haunch. And I just do a straight line coming up. Straight line coming up at an angle. See? Coming down to another curve, which is his uh, right leg, and a curved up. And then just an indication of his left leg. We're not going to worry about this too much. His knee, and another straight line. In fact, that could be his right leg. It just doesn't really matter. Okay? Um, let's do his eye using a small, not going anywhere, pencil. Using a smaller pen, just lines. Oops. His eye is going to be darkened with just lines. Boop, 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 boop. Just like that. See? Just like that. Okay? So we've got the bunny. Let's just erase some of those lines. And he is going to be laying on top and all over it. All right, let's grab our other bunny. The first one we drew, which is turned away from the scene, kind of thinking about things. I'm going to start with his ear, his ear up here, which is just a line. A curved line at the top, or a curve at the top, coming down to another line. And then a slight curve, giving the ear a lot of motion. And then that finishing it off with another curve. Right in here. Okay, just another curve right in here. Okay, 
Second year, line. Line coming down to the head. Curve at the top to a line. There. To another kind of curve. Just cause. Top of his head. Boop. There. And then I wanted his head at a bit of an angle. So I've got a line there and then a straight line down. What would be his face if he returned a little bit closer or a little bit more? We'll do his shoulders, which is just a curve. Just a curve right there. Another curve right there. His shoulders are kind of slumped just a little bit. Line coming down for his arm or his front leg. Line coming down for his front, front arm or front leg, almost his back. Now we're going to do a curve, a line, and a curve for his um, right haunch. Right there, this is legs sticking out. Same thing on the other side, only bigger. Bigger, sir, uh, bigger, uh, whatever. Curve at the top, line coming down. And his bum. Boink. Okay. We'll do his tail, which is an oval, but we want a little bit of hair. We want the fur to be sticking out. So just boop, 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 boop. Okay. Let's get rid of those lines. I have to get rid of them all. And remember, you can photocopy this, and then you can make this again later. Let's cut out our little bunnies. Staying away from the line, giving it room. So I went to a doctor this week, on Monday, or last Monday. Found out I had a nasal infection. So that's why I was kind of coughing a little bit and having trouble. We don't have COVID-19. He looked at my nose and he said, wow, it's red in there. And then he did a test and found out I had a nasal infection. So I've been on medication all week. And I'm feeling much better. I'm still talking through my nose, which I know better doing it anyway. It's kind of lazy. I used to do uh, radio, and so I, I was uh, uh, 90.7 WKKL, the Cape's alternative. I didn't quite speak through my nose as much. Okay, we're going to cut this up. We're kind of going to go back to that original line in the rectangle, which was right here. We're going to go close to it. Remember, we don't have to be too careful. It's all okay. It's just a paper fun project. It's not, this isn't homework. This isn't, or it could be homework for you, but this is not anything big. And we like the boo-boos. We like what uh, maybe other people would consider boo-boos, rough edges and, you know, seeing the paper away from the lines. But for me, that's what make, gives it character. It's our signature. It's our um, stamp. And we know we've made it, and other people know we've made it because of how we cut. Okay, I'm almost done. Oops. When I paint, I have a signature, and it's not my name, it's how I paint. And I want to carry the same thing through over to these illustrations. All right, there's our bunny. I'll cut out. And I might cut a little bit more off his haunch. Boink. There we go. That's enough. We're going to take this guy. We're going to put him on top. Let's see. 
He's not quite sitting flat enough, so I'm going to cut into or around his paw a little bit more on both sides. So he does this. Okay? Let's see if he can lay down now. He can. Look at he's laying on top. You can take your glue stick and glue him down. I think I'm just going to take some tape this time and just tape him down. But if, if you've got a glue stick, use the glue stick. I want his, his paw over the top kind of securing him. I want his ears, ear flopping down a little bit. And I want to see a little bit of his leg, just like that. Okay? You do what you can, and you do what works for you. You do you. Okay, I just taped him to the top. I didn't tape his ear because I don't care. I want it hanging off. I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to make another one like a paper towel roll to hold him up. A little roll of paper to hold him up. That's the end of the scrap paper, and that's not quite big enough. So I'm going to take another piece of scrap paper. Oops. Make it slightly tall. Let's see if it'll fit. That's going to be too big. Okay, good enough. Where's my glue sticks? I keep losing my glue sticks lately. All right, so. A little bit of glue, a little bit of glue on that piece of paper. Roll it up. And glue it on. Maybe a little big, so make it a little bit tighter. We just need him to stand up. Put a little bit of glue on the back, not too much, otherwise it'll make the paper wrinkle. So I got a little bit of glue on this guy. Let's see how this works. If it doesn't work, I can make another one. Whoop, little bunny. There we go. So we've got a little bit of a scene going on now. We have bunnies in front of the house. I want to make a couple of leaves to go over that, to go over him, the bottom of his legs, because in the background there would be a tree. I'm not sure we're going to get to it today, but there would be a tree. All right, where's my pencil? Actually, we don't need it, because we've done this several times now, so we're good at it. We trust our instincts. We're going to draw some leaves. Ready? It's a line. And then two curved lines. One, two. We're going to do it again. A line. And two curved lines. Actually, this line is curved, too. Let's do another one. Curved, slightly curved line. Two curved lines. Okay. Hmm. Let's draw another one. Let's draw it up here, though. Uh, have a minute shoot. Let's have it shoot this way. Line. Cat's chasing something. I see something out the window. Can you We've had a lot of birds lately, so there we are. Line. A couple of curved lines. And I think I want to have a leaf sticking out, so I'm just going to draw a line like that as a stem. Another line as a leaf. Curved 
curved line. Maybe let's put another one in so this is kind of attached. Another line. Curved lines. Okay, let's try this. Ready? Let's cut this out. I'll hold it up again just in case. Okay. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. You just do the best you can. Leave a little bit of room at the bottom, which I just didn't and forgot. But leave a little bit of paper at the bottom. Let's see. And then cut around. Because we're going to have to attach this to the hat somehow. Let me do this. Okay, i got a little bit of paper down here, and hopefully that'll work. Let's take a peek. Let's just see. So what I'm going to do is... Yeah, we're going to stick it, we're going to glue it like that. <laughs> Cut around the, the leaves, once again, away from the black lines. So we give it character. I wonder what Kitty saw. He was so excited. He ran across the floor. And we're going to make a couple more leaves, too, but right now we're going to focus on this. Notice I'm not being terribly careful, not being exact. Let's take that. Hmm. Let's glue it on or tape it on like this behind the bunny, okay? Behind his leg. We've got enough to attach it to. A little bit of glue, not too much, so the paper doesn't wrinkle. And if it does, it doesn't matter anyway. And I'm just going to glue it on like that. Like there's a bush or a tree behind the hat. Or maybe growing over the hat just a little bit. Now let's make a couple more leaves. Or another set. So once again, curved line. Curved line. Curved line. Another curved line. Curved line, curved line. Another curved line. Curved line, curved line. Okay. There. Okay. Now let's cut that guy out. So simple, hopefully, for you. you. Try and keep things easy. And what I'm trying to build, eventually, is all the houses in this town. I have an imaginary town that I have a map of. It's got a library and a town hall and everything. But we're going to stick to building um, uh, the houses for all the characters. It's going to take some time, but we'll get there. Okay, so this is it. What we're going to do is glue it right there. And then, we, because we didn't draw his foot, because I didn't want to, it would get too complicated. So a little bit of glue. I'm just going to put it there. So it looks like he's kind of laying in the bush. Okay? Do you see that? That's where his leg was. I just glued it over the top. And it gives it a really cool 3D effect. It adds to it. So now we're going to draw 
Let's draw a couple of flower pots like I have here. Kind of put in as decoration. This piece of paper is a mess. Um, and flower, uh, full flower pots, just like this guy. Okay. So it's going to be, let's just do a little circle. Let's do another circle. Um, maybe we have three flower pots. We're going to draw a line down, line down, line down. The pot is basically going to be a square under the circle. Just like that. So, kind of a square under the circle. We're going to draw flowers, but we're going to do them in pen. We've done this several times now, so it should be fairly easy. So, we're just going to indicate flowers using the circles. Okay? You don't have to put them in any particular spot. It's wherever you like. Circle, 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 circle. See how I've got it? It's easy. Circle. We don't want the matchy match. fill in up there. You can do whatever you like. I'm going to take the big pen. I've got my big sharpie. And we're going to draw a little circle within the circle, just like that. Little circle within the circle. Little circle within. Little circle within. That's where the bees would go. Let's do that on all the flower pots, in all the flowers in the flower pots, just little circles. Okay, they look like eyes. Right now they look like Martians. Cartoon Martians. Okay. We're going to draw the petals, and the petals, just like before, are just three lines. You see that? They don't have to be the same shape. They don't have to go in the same direction. It's just one, two, three lines. Let me draw it a little bit bigger. So we've got our center circle. Sorry. In center circle and outer circle. The petals are try, trying to do this so you can see, but it's hard. Um, one, two, three lines. One, two, three lines. Like on a fan. They're just like that. That's all. Only small. Kind of covered up this flower a little bit with another flower. That's okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Each flower tends to have an odd number, like five, five petals. So it's like a star. One, two, three, four, five. Five petals, three lines. We're not going to be as sharp as this. We're just going to draw them quickly and loosely. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oop, two, three. Okay. Moving on to the next one. One, two, three.
again, some of the petals from other flowers will cut, cover up some of the petals from other flowers, just like in there. And that's okay. That's what nature is. It'll look more natural that way. Oop. All right, I gave that one four petals, but it's okay. Do the last one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It sounds like I'm dancing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oop, three. Two, three. One, two, three. The flowers, I think, are getting bigger. Three. It's okay. okay. So quick, so easy. Just a circle with three lines. Circle, uh, sorry, circle in the center with five petals that are just made up of three lines. Almost like a rectangle. Okay. So my flowers are done. But there's like leaves and things in here too, so I want to indicate them. And what I'm going to do is just squiggly lines on the outside. Not framing it, just squiggly lines. Squiggly, squiggly. Ready? Squiggly line on top. Where is it? There it is. Squiggly line over here. Ooh, I'm going to put a squiggly line there, squiggly line, and then one on the bottom, squiggly line. So our flower pots look nice and full. Squiggly line on top, squiggly line over here, squiggly line over here squiggly line down below, and that's where there would be greens. Now we can put lines in the background, in those leaves, behind the flowers, but I'm not going to worry about it today. We're going to do the flower pots, line, line, it's a rectangle, remember? But we're going to curve the bottom, because the flower pot is curved. See? Line, line, curve. Line, line, curve. Like I said, we could do woo, we could do lines like we do in the eyes or within the um, the house, indicating darkness. We're not going to worry about it right now. Let's just erase a little bit of this. Shower. Oops. And we're going to cut them out. What are we doing for time? Oh, we've got plenty of time. Cutting around those lines. You can make it even looser than I am right now. And it's okay. I'm thinking maybe that's what I should call these videos. It's okay. Because I say that a lot. Because everything is fixable. And if it isn't fixable, we just do it again. No biggie.
I should have gotten some water. Feeling a little stressed out, so if water. Your body needs water when you're upset or stressed. I brought tea, but I should have brought water. Okay, there's my second flower pot. Okay. Hmm. And my third flower pot. Cutting away from the lines. Kind of quickly. It's another thing I do when I'm a little stressed out, and it's not because of this, this is just a project. It's other stuff. But what I do is I breathe, breathe deeply. Breathe in the stress and then breathe out a thought like I am safe and I am guided. There's my third, oh, third flower pot. Okay, let's make them stand up. Let's grab scraps of paper and make them stand up. In fact, I did a lot of breathing yesterday. Breathing in the stress, breathing out, I am, I am guided, I'm safe, and I am guided. Okay, I don't need that much paper. Just like that much will work. Hopefully these will stand up. I'm kind of messing up on this one. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. I want the bottom to be kind of flat. Tell you what, I'm just going to cut that off. Get that sticky outy bit off. Put a little bit of glue on it. I like this, my new trick. Putting the paper on the pen and that way my big fingers aren't struggling. Yeah. Flower pot. Let's make another roll. Sitting here breathing, I'm thinking, breathing in the stress, breathing out, I am safe and I am guided. And it's making me feel better. Look at that. Look at how well that worked. Gosh, I'm a genius. A little bit of glue on the back. Wow, this is working out well, I think. Because the bottom of the pot is not, is round. Um, I'm leaving just a tiny bit of room between the bottom of the roll and the flower pot so it can stand up. There we go. All right, need one more. So cut out my rectangle. A little bit of glue. Hey, I got extra paper on there. A little bit of glue. Oops, I did it backwards. Okay. 
Okay, we got three flower pots now for a scene. Now, I we've got a few minutes. We're going to draw Jack, and Jack is going to be running away, I think. Um, you don't have to really include him in the scene, but I want to see if we can get through this, through this illustration, but without the red and without the extra dots. He's been, um, I put this in originally, this ring, because he had been poked in the head by a large hand. Um, and so it just stays with him throughout the story. I'm thinking about eliminating it, but we're just going to draw Jack running away. Whoops! Because he's had it with the flight, uh, with the fight, and he wants to leave it behind. So we're going to do the flight. We want him a little bit bigger than our other bunnies. And Jack um, is wearing a hoodie. Um, Jack is wearing a hoodie, so this will be fairly easy. We won't have uh, rabbit ears. There's, there's his head. We're just going to draw a circle. And we're going to draw a curved line coming down, because he's turning as he's running. We're going to draw his face, which will be one line coming down like that at an angle. Line coming down like that is his eye. There's, I'm sorry, let me draw the center of his head. So that's the angle of his head, but we've got a line coming down like this, a line coming down like that, a line coming down like that. That. That's where his nose will be. So why don't we indicate the nose by coming across just like that? Okay. Probably should have drawn the eye first. But he didn't. So there's his eye. It's the back of his head. He's curved. There's the line indicating his, his forehead. There's where his second eye would be. There's his nose. So his eye. But he's angry. So we're going to draw a line coming down like that where his brow would be furrowed. We're going to make sure he has a hoodie on, which will be whole bunch of lines coming around. And a line coming, curved line, so it's framing his face. Okay? Just like that. We're going to have a, two lines, and we're going to blur this a little bit. We don't really need a lot of indication of his body, but we have a line here for the top of his Sweatshirt, bottom of his sweatshirt. Let's draw a couple of paws coming out because he's running. So, one oval. Yeah, let's see. Well, we're just keeping this super duper simple. Another oval. Kind of looks like he's standing still right there, but he is running. So, we're just going to indicate dust. We're going to indicate movement and dust. So just draw a few lines coming off. I drew four. You might want to draw three. You might want to draw five. But in the middle of it, too, in the middle of those lines, we're going to draw his tail, because when rabbits run, their tail is up. It's to indicate danger. So his tail is just like the leaf. One line, one line two lines. Now we're going to draw dust, and the dust will just be a bunch of curves like this, okay? Nothing, nothing difficult, just like that, because he's running. Kind of looks like he's farting a little bit, but it's okay. All right, let's grab our big pen. Getting short on time. Let's grab our big pen. Line down for the hoodie. Line down, line for the hoodie line for the hoodie, and it's up and away from his head because he's got his ears covered. Line for the hoodie. Draw the inside, line for the hoodie, and it's curved, and then another curved line where it's framing his face. I like to come out just a little bit for the shoulder, and a line down, just like that. So I've got a little bit of a curve and then a line down. 
Line out here for the back of the hoodie, line here for the, for the bottom of the hoodie. We'll draw his paws, which can be ovals, they can be eggs. I'm kind of putting a little, almost a rectangle idea to it. Let's draw his eye. If we put that line down because he's mad. Curved line underneath. What are we doing? Oh god, we're getting close on time. Top of his head. Line for the eye. Line for his snout. Line for his nose. And then we are going to indicate the bottom of his chin, and that's as close as we're going to get on detail. Let's grab, um, oh, wait a minute, we've got to do the dust lines. Oh, his tail, 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 tail. So his tail is shaped just like the leaves, but we're just going to shoot some lines off of it. So it's the same shape as the leaf, but just little lines. Okay. And we're going to indicate the dust. Boink, boink. Sorry I'm going so fast. It took too long on everything else. Here we go. Now let's draw the dust. Take the skinny pen, and we're not going to do we're not going to do perfect little um, cloud lines like we've done before. It's dust. 